Hello, Dr. Greg here with uh, another video on uh, vitamin D. And today I'm just going to want to mention just a short, or actually it's not a short list, of uh, symptoms or um, results of vitamin D deficiency. So I have a short list or a list here. So one, vitamin D deficiency, a uh, symptom of that is fatigue. Um, you're tired all the time? It could be vitamin D deficiency. Other is uh, bone or joint pain, like particularly the back. Um, vitamin D deficiency can cause a lot of back discomfort. Um, muscle cramps or muscle aches or muscle pains. All over muscle ache, muscle cramps, vitamin D can be the culprit. Uh, cognitive ability, the ability to think um, clearly can also be a deficiency, uh, a vitamin D deficiency. Another um, uh, vitamin D deficiency is mood changes, depression, anxiety. Can uh, uh, deficiency in vitamin D can lead to that. Another interesting thing uh, is weight gain, and in particularly one study showed that uh, vitamin D levels are associated with uh, vitamin D low levels of vitamin D are associated with belly fat, and actually increasing vitamin D intake will actually help you lose belly fat. Another one is uh, cardiovascular health. Um, and I think I mentioned this in the last video is that in the summertime, cardiovascular accidents, such as heart attacks or what have you, are uh, less than in the winter. Um, and we know that sunlight actually promotes vitamin D production. Um, so that's just a, a list of symptoms. If you have any of these, Again, I think it's worth having your vitamin D levels checked since it's sort of like the quiet deficiency. Um, you're still living, you're still breathing, you're not dying, but you could actually live life a little bit better and uh, more fulfilling if your vitamin D levels are in the normal range. Next video, I'm going to talk about the controversy about what is normal for vitamin D in terms of levels. Um, so just a little hint, you know, they say between anywhere from 20 to 50 uh, units are acceptable. However, there are some sources that say 50 is just the minimum. It actually needs to be 50 to 75 to be uh, completely beneficial for your body for vitamin D levels. With that, this is Dr. Greg, changing the way you look at health.